Well, many Central Floridians struggle to provide food for their families, let alone have healthy options. One local organization is working to change that and get results. Second Harvest Food Bank works to distribute food in Central Florida counties, and now they have a new initiative. It's called Healthy Pantry. Rachel Stankovich from Second Harvest joins us now to tell us what it's all about. And Rachel, this is a really interesting program. How did this all come about? So it started actually a couple years ago. We started a health and hunger task force at the food bank, and we got a bunch of different partners at the table, a lot of them healthcare providers, um, where we started these food box programs, them in partnership with them, so that we could use our pantries, give them the healthy food so that they could refer their patients to get the diet-specific food that they need. And it really is so expensive to eat healthy, so this is mm -hmm. something that is very needed. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they'll just push produce to the side, they'll go to the supermarket and won't even go in the section because who's going to pay $4 for blueberries when they can go mm -hmm. into the freezer section and get four meals for $4. Right. right. And mm -hmm. we were asking you during the commercial break, so what's the difference between the healthy pantry and mm -hmm. just the main mission that you guys really yes. do? So we work with a subset of the pantries in our partner network. We have about 550 pantries in our partner network um, in the six counties that we serve, but we work with subsets of them and we train them on capacity building. So we give them refrigeration, we give them freezers so that they can store the healthier food that we have in our warehouse available to them. And all the produce in our pantry or in our food bank is free. So when our pantries there partner with us, they can come and get that for free, which is awesome. And then we also train them in nutrition um, so that they are on board with what all of the health initiatives are so that they can communicate that then to the people that come to pick up the food. How do you get set up to get into that type of program, say if you have special needs for your heart or diabetes mm -hmm. and different things like that? The programs that we focus on right now are all for type 2 diabetes and depending on the partner that we work with, um, if someone falls under the criteria for that, they will be flagged in the system and someone at the healthcare provider will approach them about the opportunity. <laughs> It's so much more important to make yeah. sure your diet is right, not just the medicines mm -hmm. you're taking these right, days. Right, If you don't have the right foods to support your body functions, the medicine that you take might not work as effectively mm -hmm. as it should. And keeping the general population healthy, I mean, that's beneficial for the entire community. Absolutely, absolutely. And what are some ways you can buy, you can make buying more food more affordable? Kind of like stretching the, the dollar, I guess yeah, you could say. Yeah, um, for anyone I would say, and I do this as well, if you have a meal planner for the week, and you write out all the meals that you're going to have, um, you can see the ingredients that, are, that you're going to use. And I would say double up a meal, have something for dinner, use it for leftovers. So you're only buying one set of ingredients, but you have it for multiple meals. And then um, I would say shop for local produce as well. Anything that's in season typically means if it's in season, it's more readily available. The cost is going to be less. We saw the video there of the meal prepping or mm -hmm. packaging. Can you tell us more about that? Um, so that would be in our production kitchen. We use um, or we supply a lot of food to different feeding sites. So that would have been them preparing that. Awesome. And I know, I know from um, I know Second Harvest does um, sometimes with the if you get lentils, for instance, you also get kind of a recipe, kind of yes. a walkthrough for some people who might not understand. So yes. it's also very educational as well. Mm -hmm. We have a nutrition educator uh, and chef on staff who is amazing, who will do food demos in our lobby when our agencies are coming to pick up. She'll go out to distributions and mobile drops, which are um, mobile distributions where we truck food to a site and distribute it to people, and she'll hand out recipes, nutrition facts, and other health information as well. And what do you hear from your clients about all these resources? I mean, having a nutrition expert there and having chefs and giving recipes, I mean, that's above and beyond just you know, supplying food. I feel like for the most part, they're all very much on board with it and they're very appreciative because they wouldn't be getting it anywhere else. So we're happy to be able to provide that for them and we love the positive feedback. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And they yeah, can find all your you information on me. your website, correct? Yes, feedhopenow.org. Awesome. Fabulous. Thank you.